Welcome back to Country Homestead. In this video, we're going to show you how we built this log deck here. I mean, it's a good one. It's got a, a drawbridge that come down where we can roll our log over here on the, uh, the sawmill the sawmill deck. And uh, if you've seen the video where we built, you know, where we showed it working, you'll, you'll have seen I rolled it all the way over here by hand. So it's, it has a good, uh, a good setup. We got a 10 foot section here. So stick with us and watch us build it. You know, if uh, you like the video, we appreciate you to do a uh, thumbs up and subscribe and come back and watch another video. Here you'll see I have a piece of half inch rebar and uh, I cut it down to 12 inch sections. And I use my torch and I heat the end of it up and I'm going to use my little mini sledge and I hammer it down into a point on each end, on one end of it. And then on the other end, I take some big washers that I got and I weld them on to it and I make some pretty big spots there. Once I get done with them, heating the end and hammering it out, they're a little over 13 inches long and a half inch in diameter. So they make a real good spike that we're going to use to uh, attach all the beams together on our log deck. Here you'll see we're drilling holes with the auger right underneath the main beam of our sawmill shed. And the uh, six by six posts that we put in the ground, are, they are a treated post that I got gave to me. All the ones that's in the ground will be treated. And the ones, you know, the, all the rest of it I cut on the sawmill. And uh, they're six by six. So uh, they're, all, they're all pretty good. I don't think we're having much problems with it. Once we get them posted in the ground, we use our water level. We set it up and we measure from the bubble up to the log deck of the sawmill, you know, where the sawmill is. And then we just take away, you know, our runners for the the six by six that's gonna the logs are gonna set on for the log deck, and then we got a six by six that's gonna go across right there the length of the, the sawmill. So we just, you know, take twelve inches off of it and we get our height that we need them cut. Now since we got our log deck built, that uh, I'm gonna move my loader over, my log loader over closer to it. So, you know, when I bring a truck in to unload, I can, back up towards my log deck and still unload the truck and then uh you know i'm gonna be end up using the loader to put all my logs on the deck i'm not going to be using the tractor anymore now i did make my log deck wide enough that i can get my tractor in the bucket in between it and back grade it and clean all the bark out from underneath it and also 
on some of the logs that I got over there, a black walnut that I'm cutting for a friend's father. And uh, some of them is like seven foot, you know, they're, they're short. So they won't fit on my log deck. So I made it wide enough so I can drive my tractor right in there and just lay the logs directly onto the ramp that goes over to my sawmill. So, you know, I won't have no problem with that. And that's why I put three runners in my ramp and not just two. And you see there, that's where I had that water level I was telling you about earlier. I used that water level and just put a mark on it. And right there, what I'm doing with my big speed square, just going around the low, uh, the, the post and marking it so I can see it good as I cut it. Here you'll see that we're cutting that cant into. It's really is a 12 by 14. And so we're cutting it into two six by 14s. Right here you'll see we pull it over and we're finna flip them up. And so again what we'll do we'll cut a six by six off the top and uh, then we'll cut a two by six through it that give us two of them. And then we'll have another six by six on the bottom. And uh, they make some pretty good lumber. It does. It's a, it's good cutting. just uh you know squaring it up on the uh two posts that we got in the ground get a evenly overhang on each end and uh we'll mark up from where the posts are in the ground straight up it and then we'll mark over the side and then he'll put an x on top of it you know from that way you know exactly where you can i can drill and i get into the the heart of the you know the good part of the the post you don't want to miss drill it what we're doing we're doing a uh a 3 h drill bit i got a real long one there. i drill it down and uh and then we'll put them spikes in there and uh that half inch spike is still pretty hard to drive drive in there you know even when you drill that that 3 8 hole they're they're in there you're not just going to be pulling that thing up out of there they're they're there 
good thing about the rebar is if you ever seen the rebar it has ribs down it so uh with that green lumber once you <laughs> hammer it in there it really grabs hold each one of them ribs hold it I made a big old mistake right here. I got my water level and we set the level to the bottom of that beam that's running across. You know, the height of the post that we cut, you know, earlier. And it didn't cross my mind. I did not think about it. You know, you add six inches on top of where we cut because that's where that beam's going across. Our beam that's going back for the log deck is sitting on top of that six inch post and that six inch beam and oh me i just cut it off the same level as the front ones and which in turn you finna see right here i realized and you know i just really figured out i had my head up my butt on that one it uh caused us more work but i mean in the end it worked out fine but that's just one of them things i wished i'd have thought a little bit more you know you always you know measure twice and cut once and I didn't do it that time you know I just I just messed up but we improvised we got another piece of treated timber and laid there and we end up drilling a spike right in the middle that goes down into that uh, post and then we'll put two on top to keep it from spinning around so you know it's gonna work out fine but instead of just saying hey that's what I meant I figured I'd uh, Leave it in here and let y'all see it too. I really, really messed up on that one. <laughs> we all do it, you know, it's okay. Somehow I lost footage right after this. Uh, I lost one complete 30 minute clip that showed us installing the uh, second runner that goes back. And uh, I apologize about that. I looked all over and I, I guess whenever I formatted my, my card that night when we got done, somehow I lost it. I don't know. It, it wasn't on my computer. Of course, I formatted the card, so it's not on the camera no more neither. But basically, that second side was just like the first. I mean, it was, you didn't really miss nothing. Here, what we're doing, we we got a that other six by six post that we had left over. We cut it down the middle and made two three by sixes, and uh, that's what we're going to end up making our uh, our uh, drawbridge, if you want to call it drawbridge or ramp that goes from our log deck over to our sawmill. And that's what we're doing right now. We're just, you see my brother-in-law, he's notching the ends of them. So they'll kind of, uh, when it sets down on the, the wooden trestle that my sawmill's on, them notches will go over the top of my rails. So there's no hump for the log to get caught on, you know, it should just roll right on it. And it does, it does real good. And the good thing with them notches is that ramp is not setting on the track of my sawmill that ramp is setting on the the uh, wooden beams that my sawmill sets on so you know it's not pushing down on my frame and you know small spots it's it's actually resting on the uh, the wood not the not the metal frame
you see we start to uh, put our frame together on the uh, ramp and what we're using is a uh, we got some five inch three eighths lag bolts and uh, that first one there I'd used it my bigger drill bit I thought I could just drill it small you know short and hey, it didn't work so my brother I went and got me a 5 16th drill bit and uh I drilled them pre-drilled them and then he put it in with a ratchet and like I said they're five inch long so they go two inches through the uh the top and in three inches inside the uh beam so they uh pretty good and right here you see I, I had one of them days that auger bit that I'm using right there is one of them cheap Harbor Freight auger bit. And I tell you what, don't waste your money on them. You see how much pressure I'm putting on it, trying to hold it back because it don't clean the hole. And that's a fairly new drill I got there. And look at here. Well, look what happened. I been ripped the handle clean off the drill because I'm holding pressure back so tight, trying to keep it, you know, to cut. You know, it just, when you drill it, it just wants to pull straight through it. It don't really clean the hole out. It just twists, you know, in. And so uh, I bust my new drill. Uh, you know, that drill, it ain't brand new, but it's, you know, less than a year old. So, you know, back to the hardware store we go. We did that the next morning, but, you know, it's just, uh, don't waste your money on them, them big auger bits. I think they're like $25 for three of them, and they're not worth it. They are junk. We ended up, when we got to the hardware store, we bought a good uh, Urban made one, uh, Irwin. And I think that thing was like $45 by itself, but man, it drills. I mean, it is nice. It cleans the hole. It, it cuts real good. And what I was drilling was my pivot point for my ramp. I had some, uh, some uh, three-quarter inch all thread, and that's what we use for our our pivot and right there we're just you know framing out that ramp just getting it you know pretty frame pretty pretty squared up and trying to make it stronger here we had to end up picking the ramp up because we need to use sawmill again that uh six by six that's actually on the sawmill right there you see it's brown in color that's one of the posts that we used when we made our sawmill a shed that's one we had left over it was you know on our rack drying and, and uh you know in six months that thing went from being a true six by six to five and a half by five and a half so it's dried you know a half an inch both direction you know shrunk but uh so we we cut it and made sure it was true and then we ended up cutting it down to a, a three by six so that's going to be the middle uh support going across on our our ramp and the reason we did that is because when we have short logs that you know shorter than the log deck we can just bring them straight in on the back side with a tractor and set it right directly onto the ramp and row them over to the uh sawmill so you know it works out real good You'll see that we're using the regular drill and uh, some uh, three inch screws putting it together it's because we ran out of five inch lag bolts and my wife and my sister was actually in the town shopping so we called them and had them bring us some new ones so we was just waiting on them but we didn't want to stop so we just started using some regular decking screws putting it together temporary and then a little later in the video you'll see where I go through and uh, take all of them out and re-drill them and you know, pre-drill them and then put the, the three-eighth lag bolts in them. With them five-inch lag bolts, I don't, I don't think we're gonna have no problem with it. 
going nowhere. It should be pretty, pretty stout. Here you'll see this is where my wife and sister finally got back and got us all new boats, uh, leg boats. And so I'm taking the screws out and putting leg boats in. And, uh, you know, I got one drill set up with a th uh, 5 16 drill bit, one for my screws and then one for my leg boat. So, you know, and I got all that done. My brother-in-law, he left right at that time to go, you know, with my sister. They just lived next door to put groceries up. And, you ever have one of them times where you know you shouldn't do something and you just hard headed and you just think, yeah, I'm young, I can do it. Well, I ain't as young as I used to be. And, you know, so I'm sitting here and I need to pick that log deck up to, to get to the bottom side to replace all them screws, put the leg boats in, and I'm just hard headed and don't want to wait for help. But here in a second, you'll see that I get a, a strap and I put up top and your ratchet strap and kind of, you know, pull it a little bit. And I say, yeah, I can get that thing. Well, that thing's heavy. Let me tell you what. Uh, I felt it the next morning when I got up out of bed. My old back was so sore. I tell you, man, when you hit 40s and you just, you can tell you ain't in your 20s no more. Yeah, you don't need to be doing stuff like that. But I got her up. Welcome back. Today's a new day. We just got back from our local tractor supply and our 
Harbor Freight. We went and got us a hand winch. It's a worm drive winch, so it holds pressure. You ain't got to worry about it spinning away. We're going to use it to lift our log deck, that we, the ramp that goes over to our sawmill. We picked up these shackles or swivel shack uh, lifting block. And we got these clothes. Uh, we hammer these clothes. What you do is stick them on here. We got some used eyes that we we got from a company that was on the way. You just hammer it shut. And then we can put these to the beams and run our table to lift it. Went ahead and got us a new auger bit because some other ones, they suck. So we're going to use this one. Hopefully it works better. We ain't got to put so much pressure on our drill because we got us a new drill. So we're going to get all this put together and, and uh, try to get that finished up today. We hammered this all the way in so it's flush. Now, this little code joint here is rated at a I think it's a 4,500 pounds, what it shows. Of course, this is rated for a thousand. That deck don't weigh nothing like that, so we should be good. I think the winch is rated for 2,000, so that's gonna be our setup. We're just going to go up and put a hole through the uh, 6 by 12 main beam there that we're going to run that eye boat through to hold the uh, that pulley. That cable will go from the winch up to there and then we'll run straight over to the middle of the log deck and the ramp and then we'll have another pulley run there. And look how easy that thing drilled through there, man. That new bit, that new auger, you know, that's three quarter inch hole. That new one, you know, that's the difference from a $50 bit and a you know three for 25 that thing's sharp it cuts and it cleans the hole that's the main thing with them big auger bits when you're drilling it you need one that's actually going to pull the wood it cuts it and pulls it out the back so uh they make a big difference in them it does it's nice See here, my brother-in-law put that uh, handle for that winch on there, and let me tell you what, that's a like a 40 to 1, you know, rotation, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's something else, so we just, and he got a drill bit, I mean a, uh, a socket on the end of the drill, and we did that. We ended up taking the, uh, the handle completely off, and we just double nutted it, and we use the drill now to, to work it. It's, it's a whole lot better. And, you know, you can just put the drill up there. I got an old drill that that's all we use it for now. Well, it's just for that. You can see there on that uh, middle three by six, I'm putting a uh, lifting eye, you know, in there, right in the middle. 
and we'll run that cable from a uh, from the top down to there now I'm going to end up putting another lifting eye to the right of me there on that end one and we're going to put a safety chain on that top beam you know for that ramp stays down all the time when we're not using the mill but when we're using the mill it will be picked up and so it just feel a little better if we put a safety chain on it so uh maybe it don't land on our head when we're working you know and uh we still got to burn it we ain't burn it yet with a torch so we're gonna have to end up getting the blow torch out and burn it completely and then i got some diesel and uh some oil and we're gonna treat it but uh we just ain't had a chance to do it yet Look at that, look how smooth that thing works. You just use that drill and you can let that winch out and it lets it straight down. And uh, you change directions, and pick it back up. Now that drill I'm using there is a little slower drill. I ended up getting a, another drill that I use. It's a half inch, I mean a three eighth drill that's a little faster and it works real good. And you can see there, it rolls perfect. I mean, that log is about 22 inches on the end and it's a, uh, 12 foot long, 12 six. So you can see I rode it by hand, you know, it's easy to do. And the tractor pulls straight up in between there, so no problem. If I got a shorter log, you can see the three runners on my ramp, I won't have no problem with it. So it uh it does pretty good. And if you made it here towards the end of the video, you would right there you seen my my spikes that I put in. If you made it here to the end, uh you like the video we appreciate it if you gave us a big old thumbs up and you know if you're not subscribed we would love to have you as a subscriber and uh we got plenty of other videos you know you can come back and check some of other videos out we uh we appreciate everything y'all do and watching our videos and we thank you have a good night